Hello, thank you for joining me. My name is Ayatsi, and this is Igor Straka, the home of Nigerian footballers. Let's do a quick roundup of the transfers. It's February, the transfer window has closed, and as we know, the January transfer window is always one of the more interesting windows in the sense that teams are making emergency additions to their squad. There's always last minute changes, and of course, there's always some deadline day action. I'll run you through about six or seven transfers involving Nigerian players. I'll rate them out of 10, and then I'll give you one or two thoughts on how I think the transfer is going to work out. Um, I'll start with Ojon Igalo to Al Hilal Saudi. Super Eagles forward Ojon Igalo completed a transfer from Al Shabab Saudi to Al Hilal Saudi for a fee reported to be about 5 million euros. And man, Uncle Jude is moving from money to money. Um, he's termed the replacement for Bafitin Bigomis, who left Al Hilal. Al Hilal currently sits fourth in the Saudi league, and he left Al Shabab, who were placed third. So it's a move one step down the table, but you also have to bear in mind that Al Hilal have one game in hand. Why did Odion Gallo make this move? To me, it seems like a money move. I don't know what you guys think. I rate this transfer an eight out of ten. He has nothing to play for at this point in his career, nothing to prove, and he's making himself even more money. 8 out of 10 for Odeon Jude Igalo. Mm -hmm. Next transfer I'll talk about is John Ogu to Hapoel North Hagaleo. Super Eagles midfielder John Ogu has completed the transfer and has made his return to football, signing for Israeli Premier Division side Hapoel North Hagaleo. The terms of this agreement have been undisclosed, but of course it's a special one because Ogu himself has been out of action for about over a year now since his last stint in Saudi Arabia with Aladala. Um, it's going to be an interesting one. Um, Israel loves Ogu, Ogu loves Israel. So let's see how we can take up. I'll raise this transfer a 6.5 out of 10. It's not too exciting, but on a personal note, it's always nice to see a player back in action. Is Ogenyi Onazi to Aladala. I just spoke about another super Eagles midfielder, Ogenyi Onazi, just completed a move to Saudi. They're looking for his experience to be able to take them over the line. Of course, they already have one Nigerian player with Tunde Adenji leading their line. Um, I'm hoping that Anazi can get his career back on track. We know the talent that he has. We know what a fantastic player he is. But since the 2014 World Cup, he's been dealing with injury after injury. And then recently, um, club issue after club issue in Turkey, in Lithuania. And now he's moved to Saudi. We know he's going to be making a decent amount of money. We hope that his football can also match the level. Our rates this transfer also a 6.5 out of 10. The next transfer I want to talk about is Samuel Kalu to Watford. 24-year-old Super Eagles forward Samuel Kalu signed a 3.5 million pound deal and a four-year contract with Watford in the English Premier League. Of course, we know Watford are on a bad run of form. They are struggling and they are playing for their lives to try to remain in the Premier League. I'm really, really hoping that Samuel Kalu can add a little bit of spark and that fights to boost their chances, their survival chances. Yes. It's an exciting, exciting Samuel transfer. Samuel Kalu, given his recent injury issues, and health concerns overall. Also, noting the fact that he missed the 2021 Africa Cup of Nations, um, he just wasn't selected for the Super Ego squad. It's going to be exciting to see if he can rejuvenate himself in the English Premier League, maybe even get back in the national team and on um, the sky's the limit. Um, on a slightly negative note, um, there, there's been a little bit of controversy with regards to his age since he joined. You know, fans on social media have been saying he looks older than 24, he cannot be 24. But still, this transfer is a solid 8 out of 10. This is a good transfer for any player to move to the top division in England and to have a chance to show yourself week in, week out at this highest level. I rate it 8 out of 10. Good luck to Samuel Kali. But another Super Eagles player, Viv Solomon Otabo, who moved to Rock Live in Ukraine. It's a free transfer. He's been struggling with fitness after suffering a long-term injury in 2021, and he just recently had short spells with Wigan and with Ross County in the Scottish Premiership. Now he's signed for a mid-table team in Ukraine. Let's see if we can get back into full form. Let's see if we can get back into the Super Eagles and add to his one cap that he's sustained so far. Josh Maja, another Super Eagles forward, has completed a move to Stoke City in the English Championship. Josh Maja has played a few times, a handful of times, I think twice for the Super Eagles, and he just moved on loan to Stoke City in the English Championship from Bordeaux in the French League One. A former teammate of Samuel Kalu, Samuel Kalu moved to Watford, Josh Maja moved to Stoke City. 
I'm hoping that he can get himself back on form. We remember what he did with Fulham when he joined the loan. It was a fantastic short loan spell, and I'm hoping and I'm believing that he can replicate the same this time with Stoke City. I read this transfer a 7 out of 10. A chance for a young striker to show himself and to show that he has what And it then takes. finally, to wrap up, I'll talk about two more transfers. Paul Mokairu to FC Copenhagen in Denmark. Paul Mokairu is a 22-year-old forward that I think is a fantastic talent. So this is a good transfer for him, in my opinion. He joins them from Alan Jasper in Turkey. And in fact, um, he's one of the few players that has been highly rated, but yet goes under the radar when it comes to most Nigerian fans. Um, Paul Mukairo has had interesting spells in Belgium on loan with Anderlecht. He's had interesting spells um, with his club side Antalya Sport in Turkey. And he's been highly rated by some interesting people like Mason Company. Um, I didn't expect him to move, but he made this step up in, in club quality, um, moving to FC Copenhagen. The Danish league is ranked one lower than Turkey, but FC Copenhagen is a club that plays nearly every season in a European competition whether it be the Champions League or the Europa League or the Europa Conference League now, um, we know that FC Copenhagen more than likely will be playing in Europe every season. That's why I think it's a good move for him. I always like to see young players making a step up, making a chance for themselves to play and be seen at the highest level. I believe in his talent, so I wish him all the best. I rate this transfer a 7.5 out of 10. Talented forward Akinkumi Amou completed the transfer to FC Copenhagen from Hammer BIFs in Sweden. Amou, in my opinion, is the best on the 20 Nigerian player right now, period. I don't think any other young player in Nigeria compares to him. And I'm excited to see how this move turns out for him. A lot of people have been saying they wanted him to move to a bigger club because there was some interest from the likes of Leicester City. But in my opinion, I think this was the right step for him. He's taking a step up from Hammarby, a mid-table club in Sweden, to FC Copenhagen, a title challenger in Denmark. Again, like I said, the FC Copenhagen will compete in European competition almost guaranteed every season. Whether it be the Champions League, the Europa League, or the Europa Conference League, Akikumi Amo will get a chance to show himself on one of Europe's biggest competitions. I'm hoping that he can replicate what he did in Hammerby. If he can even do just 80% of what he did in Hammerby, then we know that his FC Copenhagen career will be a success. He is a very highly rated youngster amongst Nigerian fans, and I know that a lot of eyes will be on him to see how he performs so far this season. I'm going to rate this transfer an 8.5 out of 10. In my opinion, it was the best transfer amongst all the ones that I listed today. Let me know what you guys think. What was your best transfer? What are your individual ratings? Who did I forget to mention? Leave a comment. Make sure you like this video and don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thank you.